What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at The Bard's Tale, The Barrow's Deep. Which is the continuation of A Bard's Tale. I, I don't think I've played any of the ones other than the PS2 ones. Bard's Tale was kind of like one of those things that I never had or got into. I never had that game when I was a kid. I had Baldur's Gate, and I had Planescape Torment, but I didn't have any of the Bard's Tale games except for the PS2 one, obviously. And so anyways, let's go ahead and check it on out. This game just came out on Steam a couple of days ago, and I figured it might be something that you all wanted to see if you're into dungeon diving questing nonsense. So let's go ahead and do it. A new game. Our new game slot, The Game. The song I sing will tell the tale of a cold and wintry day, of castle walls and torchlit halls, and a price men had to pay. When evil fled and brave men bled, the Dark One came to stay. Tell men of old for blood and gold had rescued Scarabray. That was some dope harp playing right there. Sometimes you just gotta hit them with like the harp solo. You're like, you gotta, you gotta fill out that space right there. You gotta get people into the seats, man. Sometimes you just gotta hit it and just be like, ooh, from the pentatonic, now down to the minor chord. Ah, and you just gotta like shred it real fast, just so they know what's popping. Ready? No, hardly. Hang it, take it, but I'll Us, children, shall the sword father smite all who befriend the old races. Hail, Henrit! He shall drive the elf and the dwarf back to their wretched holes. He shall so I guess we're in first person and I just get to walk around and do stuff. Let's go walk around. This person has dope armor. What's up with this person over here? Oh my god, the chugging is real right now. Hold on. It's chugging so hard. Give me a second. My bardly tail is chugging. I think I'm supposed to go over here to this big blue light thing. Let's go talk to this guy. Maybe he's got something to say. What's up, Rabby? Oh, that's a bad business. And no mistake. I... I don't understand. What did they do? What was their crime? Their crime? Existing was their crime. The Fatherites don't like our kind. Come on, before those paladins give us a second glance. I'll give them a second glance. And maybe a... Oh, oh, here now. Save it. You'll only get yourself killed. And we need you. You're gonna save Scarabray. <laughs> ah, you're looking at me like you think old Rabbi's had a few too many. Well, maybe I have. But this is no drunkard's fancy. You've been in my dreams seven nights now, and each one with the same end. You the hero, and me lost. They all start with some evil slithering out of the darkness, and you driving it back from whence it came. But I don't make it to the happy ever after. And there's a moment right at the end where you could save me, and instead you choose not to. You just turn away and leave me to be buried alive. Well, maybe that means I shouldn't trust you. But you're the best hope we've got. So I guess I'll just have to pray that part's not true. Anyway, hero, let's get back to the Adventurer's Guild. I have a few words to say to the congregation. Like, this way. every single game always has like an Adventurer's Guild. Was that ever a thing historically where there was just a bunch of people who were like, Yay, unemployment! Let's just go walk places! And that was their means of employment? Like, there has to... Like, the, the common theme of the Adventurer's Guild... I don't know if it's just like a deep, deep fantasy trope. Or if that was ever like a real thing. Where people just got together and they were like, Hey, let's go travel places and see what happens while being broke. 
I, I don't know. Rabbi, the leader of the Adventurers Guild, has temporarily joined your party while in combat. Rabbi can attack with his axe and shillelagh, as well as hand out health potions to his allies. Okay, this is Melody the Bard. She is your very first adventurer. You can replace her with a custom character shortly if you like. She can attack with a hatchet, gain powers by drinking, and play Sanctuary Score to shield her allies too. I also get special abilities by drinking. It's called Friendlessness, and uh, it's called Inebriation, and more than likely Incarceration. Incarceration level 3. You could bring up the party bar at any time by right-clicking. Okay. Party bar! Doesn't it feel more like a party? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Party's over. Party's back on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The party bar, man. You don't mess around with the party bar around here. Continue to the Adventurer's Guild. Well, they've got some kind of little blockage over there. Can I jump? Is jumping an option? I don't think I can jump. Can't swing a cat in Scarabray these days without hitting a paladin. Not that I'm prone to swinging cats. Are these guys the paladins right here? No entry. Henry's orders. All right. I like your metal skirt. That's a that's a cool little accessory you throw out there for intimidation's sake. Who's this dude? Aha! Come here for soup, have you? Well, soup is not an adequate description for what you'll be getting. You'll be getting fulfillment, joy. The tender embrace of your mother's arms. This is not just soup. It is a revelation. A liquid epiphany. Heaven by the spoonful. There is no question that this soup is good enough for you. The question you have to ask yourself is, am I good enough for this soup? This guy seems pretty passionate about the concept of soup. Hmm. Uh, no. On consideration, you are not good enough for this soup. Ruffians. That's it? Like, you made a big deal out of the soup, and now you're going to say that I can't have none? You're a dick, fool. You're just keeping it for yourself. I see that tummy. I see that tummy. Dude, like, who's banging away right now on a bagpipe? Let's go find this guy. Lazy afternoon, gentlemen. Oh, there's blood all over the street. More murder. I should... There's nothing to be gained fighting the Fatherite's head on. There's another way. Beast. I hope there is. Yay! I take all of the loots. Every single piece of the loots. Dude, there's lootable stuff over here. I want this. What's inside of here? Some bones? Do I need bones? Oh, I can use them for crafting? Okay, I guess I'll use them for crafting then. What's inside of here? We've got fairy dust. The dust of a fairy. We've also got some sugar right there. Yeah, buddy. I'm always jonesing for some sugar. What is this thing over here? Oh, I can attach a rope with a grappling hook. Okay. I don't, like, have one of those yet, but maybe someday I will. Got some carrots inside of there. Dude, I'm just looking for stuff that I can vendor when we get to the first store so that maybe I can buy myself, like, a dope wand or something. What is that, a healing potion? Hell yeah, dude. That's like a standard right there. We gotta have that to go on adventures. If we ain't got that, what kind of adventurer are we? We've also got some metal scraps. Okay, I'll take those too. Why not? If you're a little bit worried about the frame rate, I'm having that issue too on this end. It seems to be like dithering around 45 to 50-ish, and I got a pretty beastly PC. And so it's possible you might just have to get used to that or some effect might be costing it. We've got some elf crest, some red colwort. And some red coal wart. Apparently this is going to be one of those games where you can spend a ton of time just like Elder Scrolls in it up and just like picking up random bullshit off the ground. Any of you guys want to like buy any of the random stuff that I just pulled out of crates that I found on the side of the road that obviously didn't belong to me? Anybody? I mean, I am a bard after all. Is she singing? Who's singing? I've known some good trouts, but not many. Adventurers save this town. Round him up. That's what I see. What's a trowel? Is a trowel like an adventurer, like a wanderer or something? I am unfamiliar with this particular term. Scottish people, I'm going to need some backup. What's a trowel? I don't know what that is. They hanged my shoemaker last week. He must have done something wrong. The devil knows what it's doing. First they came for the shoemakers. Then they came for the beggars. Then they came for the barrel looters. 
and there was no one left to speak for me. Is there anything back up inside of here? This looked like kind of a secret little area, so I was thinking maybe we get some treasure from up in there. Dude, somebody's getting it on that violin right now. Cabbage, hi. Cabbage, carrots, and uh, potatoes. Cabbage, carrots, potatoes. All right. He's got a limited vocabulary, but hopefully it helps him get the job done in his line of work. Dude, some of these people are kind of brave just, like, leaving their wares out here and not even, like, paying attention to them. Who's that dude? He looks like a short little killmonger. I kind of want him in my group. Like, he looks more badass than everybody else. The guild. The guild, you say. What is this? Place the elven weapon, turn of page, word of sage, side of fall, start it all. I don't have an elven weapon. So I guess that's not something that's getting done right now. But it was worth a look. What's up with the targeting dummies over here? You got something to say? No. Just staring out at the ocean longingly. I assume we'll be able to get down to the docks at some point. A lot of the areas appear to be blocked off. There were more folk killed last night. Some great beast, they said. And again, they blame us for it. What I just saw at Hendred's Hanging Tree was the last straw. We have to... D do you hear that? The Song of the Maiden. What does it foretell this time? Arrest the heretics! Burn this den of evil to the ground! This way, hero! Hurry! Of course the Adventurer's Guild has got a secret hatch. Every good Adventurer's Guild. Do I want to make a custom character? Keep Melody? I'm going to make a custom character. I don't want to play as Melody. Melody's whack. I want to play as Splattercat. He would definitely never fall down on the job in the middle of an adventure. I know this for a fact. He absolutely won't smoke all the weed and drink all the beers. No, no, no. He's never been guilty of those things, ever. What? Dude, we could do like heavy metal guitar solos on a loot? Bards use spell points to tell stories so grand that they carry mystic properties along with them, imbuing the listener with the essence of song. So we get a weak melee attack with a long reach. We get chug. We can drink magical booze to fuel our songs. If we get too drunk, we'll gain a beef boost of strength before passing out in a drunken stupor. We've got Sanctuary Score. Sing a protective song that shields allies from harm. There's the Practitioner, which is obviously a mage. There's the Fighter which is obviously a swingy, swordy, stabby, killy guy. And then we've got rogues over here. I like how everyone has like an addiction to fur in this game. I have to, like how could I not? Like he just played a heavy metal solo on a loot, like I have to. Like I, I don't want to, but I have to. Like it has to be chosen. So we can be from bed. We get bedish studies. We're well educated and clever. We get bonus skills at 3, 10, and 18. We can be from Einar. Tall and powerful people have a legendary ability to hold a grudge. Every time they're struck in combat, they get plus one strength. So they probably make pretty solid fighters and tanks. The Fishti are fiercely protective of their friends and family and will give their life for them if need be. Once per battle, they will absorb damage from an ally that would otherwise kill them. We can be an Outlander. Outlanders come from a variety of cultures. The trial they faced to coming to Scar of Brave made them hardy and unflappable. They're immune to poison, fire, and bleeding. You can also be a Dwarf. That doesn't look like any dwarf that I've ever seen. He look a little tall to be a dwarf. They are stubborn and sturdy who are naturally tenacious. Dwarves cannot be stunned, rooted, or forcibly moved. You can play an elf, but that's right out. We're not even going to look at what they do. And then we have the trow. Oh, the trow is not like an adventure. They said it in a Scottish accent, so I thought it was a Scottish thing. Apparently, it's a group of people with hooves. They are opportunists. They gain one opportunity when they land a killing blow. This may happen only once per turn. I think I'll just go with Bedish Studies. The extra bonus skill at 3, 10, and 18 sounds pretty cool. I mean, Dwarf sounds dope and everything, but like, if he's gonna be bald and I can't put like a beard he and stuff on him... Me. I'll like, take you all on. Is that Are really what we want? Trying? Your wickedness will be punished. Come on, you wee git. I'll glass you. Like, do I ever get to pick his face and stuff? 
Or is it just like predetermined? His name is Brewhall? That's not a very good name. His name's gotta be like... Hold on, we gotta give him a true dwarvish name. Like Boozax. There we go, that's, that's a real dwarf name right there. Skill points. So we get three of them. Welcome to your skill three. Every time you level up, you earn a skill point, which can be spent to unlock a new skill. Okay. Well enough. Hey, stop that. Stop that. It's broken into three tiers, so you gotta spit. Yeah, okay, I get it. I understand the idea of skill trees. So we've got basic combat. We've got strength plus one. We've got brewing, which allows me to make a draft of power. We can make a elixir of focus and a lesser tonic of armor. We've got battle brewer, which lets us make elven wine. We should probably have that just in case because that's going to allow us. We've got basic defense right there. We can go with a light armor novice. Yeah, let's do that maybe. That sounds like an okay plan. Constitution plus one. We've got a basic attack already. Can I have axeman novice or I can be a swordsman novice? Can I have, like, maces? We got head knocker. Okay. I'm gonna go with swords, I guess. I am the hero of the story. And swords are kind of, like, the sexiest way to go about your adventures. And so our main hand, we've got an axe. I can't pick a sword for right now, but we'll find a, we'll find a sword about as fast as possible. I think we'll probably just be able to chop until we find a sword, maybe. We can throw a squeezins. Taste of sorrow and regret, but it's cheap. All right, yep, that's my character. Booze axe, even though he uses a sword. My character is confusing and he has depth. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, viewer. He's conf he's a confusing character who has a lot of depth. Maybe his name should have been Booze Blade. I don't know, but he was Booze axe at the time that it happened, and now he wields a sword. Maybe the axe reminds him of some long lost childhood trauma from when he was young when his village burned down at the hand of orcs and now you're making him feel terrible about it thanks viewer thanks okay so we seem to be inside of an underground dungeon i assume oh, this is where we made it what a nightmare eh come on we've got to get to the old guild and figure a way to protect ourselves how did they get the underground on fire already did they hit us from like multiple directions Trying really hard not to step on fire right now, even though that'd be kind of a metal thing to do. Weird dryad ladies, could you stop singing right now? It's a little creepy. I don't like what we're doing down here. Ooh, that's a fancy door. The adventurer's guild from back before the old town was buried is still here after all these years. Just a little filthier than liable to collapse. So you remove a character. You have a character that can use spell points. Only combat, magic, and spells and particle points that cost that. Spell points can be generated in combat using abilities like chug or meditate. Practitioners also passively generate spell points every turn. At least it's well hidden. No danger of another visit from the Fatherites. Come on, we're looking for a green door. I don't care about that. I care about treasure. I care about treasure and getting off the beaten path. Like, every time I take a turn... See, that's what I'm talking about. I bet you this is where the ultimate sword of Doom Dong Slang is. No, we're not Doom Dong Slang. Never mind. Yeah. Making those fat beats. See, we gotta lay down that bass line right there. So that people know what we're all about as a bard is... Just rolling through with the bass turned up all hella high. We got the Hold on, hero. You'd better touch that luck stone. Luck has everybody else been around since before the all war? And it's always good to give them a rub, particularly before a fight. They can give you a second chance if things go wrong. This just seems like a really, really good way to get a bunch of germs on my hand from a hundred years ago, but okay. There. Now you're safe. No matter what befalls, you'll come right back to here. All right. Something bad's gonna happen. Huh? What does that mean? Is that like a thieves symbol? Like, is that like Quest for Glory style? Is that a thief's mark? Does that mean there's treasure around here? There's treasures. I know it. All right. Well, that push stone is up out of the way now. Is there up anything under that rock? No. They made me think that maybe there's like a treasure around somewhere. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your home. That wasn't my intent. What is this thing? 
make an offering. Um, onions. An onion and a carrot. Does, do I have to, like, leave the... Onion and carrot offering. Did anything happen? What if I put wine in there? No, I'm keeping the wine. You can have the onion and the carrot. I'll see you later. Who are these jokers? Adventurers? By the moment. Don't think these are any friends of ours. No. They're up to mischief. We'll have to fight them. So enemies, before they spot you on first strike, if they spot you first, they'll get the first turn. I was trying to loot a dead guy, but... Oh, I think we got him. We got the first strike. We're going to take these dudes out. Alright, so it's my turn. Combat in the Barsdale is turn-based. You have three opportunity points to spend every turn. They increase as you progress. Your adventures have abilities that cost opportunity. Okay, so that's going to cost, like, let's do, let's, let's hit this guy. Ooh, you just got took out, son. You having a terrible day. Yep, get whooped on. Oh, you're dead. That's what you get for randomly standing in the middle of a street. I guess I'll chug. Alright, so I guess we got a little bit drunk. I'm gonna go with the Sanctuary score on him. Yeah, that's right. Jiggle out that song. Jiggle it. Jiggle that song. I think that's all I can do for right now. I'm glad that I sang that song of jiggling just to make sure we be nice and safe. I don't know. Keep putting keep putting more magical song spells on that guy. Apparently, I am drunk AF right now. Ready? Oh, I can pick. Okay, I thought that like we were gonna go through like a turn progression. I just I click on whoever I want to use their abilities. What does he have? He has head knockers, six damage to the first enemy in range. Gotcha. Knocked him out. That's ten XP. Ooh, they dropped some treasure. What masters? I wonder. A cutthroat dragon bile bomb. Okay. And then what is this right here? We've got a gold skeet. Skeet, 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 skeet. Uh. All right, so we got some golden skeets. Maybe those rogues were carrying something to burn down these boards. What did you find on them? Oh, no! There's like an army back there. I thought we were just going to progress the quest, but I guess not. We've got ourselves a weathered leather tunic. Weathered leather, you say. I got a feeling that that dude's going to die and not be a part of our quest for very long. So let's put on a weathered leather tunic. So that's constitution plus two. Now we got constitution plus three and plus one to strength. Hell yeah. You got to say it like Dre. Oh my good sweet lord. Yeah, let's maybe not go far. There's an army on my left. Army, army on my left. Got an army on my right. Army, army on my right. I'm going to see if I can get these guys. I'm going to see if I can get them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that first strike. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. This might not go well. I think I can hit both of them, though, if I use this. Oh, maybe not. I was wrong. I like the animations, though. Like It feels like there was weight right there when we knocked that guy down. Well, two of them are down already, so at least their combat prowess is nothing to be concerned about. That's the end of my turn. I think they're going to have to move if they want to... Oh, no, they can attack me from the back. Okay. That was a little more painful than I wanted it to be, but... Okay. Uh, I'm going to smack you real fast. And then what abilities do I have up and ready to go? Let's hit them with a chop real fast. I'm trying to, like, eliminate enemies about as fast as I possibly can. Chug some liquor. And then Sanctuary Stone. Gain an ally combat. Five constitution. Is constitution my HP? Is that what it is? Kind of seems that way. Ready. What do you have? You have a healing potion? Yeah, we'll save it. 
I like how the other dudes are still in the background right now, too, from the other fights. Like, we didn't go into a separate scene. Did you just wiggle your ass at me? Oh, you messed up. You messed up. Mm, hold up, hold up, hold up. No targets in range. You better move over to here and head smack that fool. Wiggle your ass at me like shit won't happen. We will get down out here over ass wiggling. That's very disrespectful. That was a nasty scrap. Let's see to our wounds. Now uh, you've taken some damage. Heal up before the next fight by eating food. Right click to bring up the party bar. What kind of items do we have? Hey, stop it. Stop it. No more to stop it. Stop it. Um, what is this right here? So we can get two constitution? Yeah, do that. We're going to eat some carrots real quick. Nothing fixes wounds like carrots. That's why there's always such a large supply of them in hospitals. Uh, we got some more gold skeets. We got some water. We got some padded armor boots right there. Okay. I'll take it all. I wonder if I can, like, loot that guy for all of his loot before he leaves the party so that I get extra stuff. There we go. We've got some new boots. We're booted up right now. We're tooted and booted. Hey! A rusty arming sword. Yay. I need that for my weapon mastery. There we go. So now I've got a weapon that can be helpful. Let's see if I can take these guys. Ooh, got that first strike. They couldn't run up on me. They tried super hard, but it just wasn't good enough. I guess your best wasn't good enough. No. So there's four damage out right there. On the side. I'm going to move over to there so I can keep working on her. And then I guess I'll chug some beer too. Yeah, go ahead and give yourself a little bit more HP since you're obviously going to be fighting that person. We'll end the turn right there, and then I'm going to move him over this way, maybe. Actually, he'll be able to finish her on his next turn, so, like, why worry about it? Give me the best shot. Can I move forward, or can I only, like, stay in a row? You can only stay in a row. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's chop her down real fast. She's done. And then you hit him with the head knocker. And then catch him with another attack right there. Perfect. I liked it. He might be able to do something nasty to us before we get out of here, but looks like he's only got the one ability, so maybe not. Go ahead and chop him up real quick. We'll finish that fight off nice and sweet and early. Cool. 16 more XP. Enemy loot? What you got for me? We got some more skeets. All right, we got the skeets. There's another luck stone. Better safe than sorry, I always say. So we can bind, we can consume. Something happened. There's a glowing sphere. But this is the Bard's Tale. My name is Splattercat. I hope you guys have been enjoying the play. I look for indie games every single day on the internet to find what's worthwhile in the pile so that you don't have to. Check the game out down below if you wanted to get it for yourself. Also, before you leave, don't forget to leave the video with a like because it helps out more than you know for content creators in helping us decide, you know, what you're all into. It's very, very difficult to gauge sometimes. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on by. How do you do? Take care, everybody.